20 feet wide, 11 feet tall, and 26 feet long. All made out of motorcycle tires. He has a metal frame underneath, mostly stainless steel. And the flames are made from recycling totes. And I used some Rust-Oleum paint to paint some of the wings so he wouldn't look too much like a raven. Picture of a dragon that I really liked. And I like this face a little bit better. So I'm gonna put that face on it. So I started out with rebar, half inch, welded a framework to try and make it look like a dragon. And then I covered it with plastic barrels and some heavy duty hydraulic hose for the legs. The fingers are some plastic pipe and spoons for the nails. And it's all four wheeler tires and dirt bike tires. His teeth are butter knife blades and his eyes are spoons. This is rolled rubber roofing. So it's all good outside forever. The little horns on the tips of the wings are also pool ladders that I've narrowed to a point. And uh, it's about the 10th or 12th one I made. I, I've lost count already. <laughs> good over evil. <laughs> and if you look up this way, yeah, I, I love Moto it. Dragon. He's, he's amazing. There's a snake back in there you can't see. I, I stormed there for the winter. <laughs> and then uh, this gator here, spoon gator. gator. It's a crocodile actually, but uh, my brother dubbed it the spoon gator. I really like that. <laughs> Bent the rebar around, I'll show you how I do that over there. But I just kind of guess at everything. I don't take many measurements, like this arm, maybe 28 inches, so I'll see a rough measurement, try to get the arms and stuff uh, symmetrical. Okay. And I'm gonna weld the spoons on here. On all my other ones, they're trying to make claws. So I've taken a vise and I bend this spoon so it's a claw. But on him, he's gonna be fingernails. But he's pretty mobile. It gets about 700 pounds. I was like, yeah, a little bit. Of That's going to be a little bit harder. <laughs> Come on over here, Holmes. Let me try, let me try this. Cool. Grab a hold of that and try to bend it this way. Can't do it, can you? No. I tried this now. Grab up here real high. More leverage is better. Pull it towards you. Hard, hard, hard. You got it. Wow. Okay. See, I'll get the band I need that way. <laughs> and that's exactly what I do when I'm trying to make these shapes. And to make a circle, I'll go like this. Wow. To make the circles then. that one screw in each one all the way so I'll have rows and rows of these with one screw each and then I'll take a handful of them and lay them right here and they screw into this plastic so you can get over here you'll be able to see from there okay. see that's on there good you can't pull that off and I'll put a second screw so it can't move this way too and that's how I uh, put fur on me.